First, Democrats in the area are still watching the results roll in. They're gathered at the Concordia Ballroom tonight. So we're going to check back in with News 19's Heather Armstrong, who joins us now from that party. Uh, Heather, what's the mood there at the Concordia? Well, Dustin, the mood, I mean, some people are trickling out because imagine some people told me tonight, they said, I want to sit here and I want to watch the results with other people, right? And other people say, I want to go home. I need to be home where I can hear better. We spoke with Ron Kine just a little bit ago. William Garcia is going to kind of help us figure out a little bit more of the mood in the room tonight. So how are people feeling? Well, we're pretty stressed. Uh, now, I still think that there's an excellent chance that we're going to come out on the other end of this with Kamala Harris as our president. But... Some of the early results we were hoping to come back really strong have not come back exactly the way we were looking for. For instance, they just called North Carolina for Trump. We were hoping to kind of pick that up as an easy win. But we're still very much in play in the three states that Harris has to win, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan. And so we're just going to kind of sit here and wait for those results. But obviously, we would love answers now. We're kind of tired of waiting, but we're, we're still looking up. You know, and again, this is nothing new where people just hang on, but we have to pretend. Pretend that things don't go your way. Yeah. What's what what then? Well, then we we take a day's break, we stand up and we shake ourselves off and we work for two years from now. And that's what we do. Um, we are uh, we're Especially Democrats, we're really driven by ideology. We're driven by the, the policies that we want to see enacted. And uh, those that passion doesn't go away when the, when uh, whether the candidate wins or loses. We want those policies. And so we're going to stand up and we're going to go forward. A but lot again, was... Not, like, we're not there yet. I want to... Yeah. 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 No, no, you're not calling it. A lot was at stake, to, at stake tonight. It, a lot of historic things, that seats that were going to be flipped. Thank you for taking the time to speak to us. And I just want to say, I mean, it's, it's human nature. Um, some of the candidates, I'm not trying to speak for them, they don't want to be on camera or with other people when they find out the results that may or may not be favorable. So we still have plenty of time to see who's going to come in here tonight. So... In some respects, Dustin, the night is still young. The ebb and flow of an election night, emotions running high, a roller coaster, if you will, throughout the night. Heather, thanks for being with us.